Jeannie, where are we? We are at a buffet called Demeris. Why are we at a buffet? Because that's how we usually eat. <laughs> Not at a, in a room, in front of a table. Nope. With takeout. Nope, that's not how we eat. That's usually. not us. That's not how we roll. <laughs> that is not, that is how, not we how we roll. <laughs> All right, Jeannie, are we ready? <laughs> yes! Let's go! <laughs> what is the number one rule of, whoops, of a buffet? Number one rule, I would say, is you have to look around first. Yes the first plate that you get. Mm -hmm. Of course, you need to get all the really good stuff. Mm -hmm. Like some people, they get salads. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, no thanks. It's usually more crowded, right? It's just, it's yeah, at the end of lunch. And also it's like the holiday. What is Oma Cafe? Um, Japanese shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're back. Yes, so should okay. we explain? So this is greens, but I actually got it because I wanted the cheese. <laughs> so if you look at how much <laughs> cheese, cheese is on there, the salad is a vehicle for the cheese. And then, nice work, mm -hmm. Or vector? Or what? Okay. <laughs> and then this is, um, oh, it's a pizza, but Korean pizza is really really sweet so it's just a pizza with gorgonzola cheese and honey and yeah <coughs> and here I got my sushi don't forget this oh, steak oh yeah we got steak four minute steak four minute steak whatever and then you know stuff and yeah whatever stuff 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 yummy stuff can't get it sushi stuff there's been there's one time in my life where I saw people using forks when eating sushi that was so disturbing. <laughs> you were saying no. It was just kind of like you can use your hands, you know. I think that's preferable than to use a fork. They were like literally using like a fork to eat their sushi. I was very disturbed. By the way, this song is very nice. I don't think this is the original Diana Ross Lionel Richie. This sounds like um, Mariah. Well, maybe it is Mariah. It's your girl Mariah. Like, Mariah! The rolls are very big. Just put it in your mouth, bro. <laughs> Just put it in your mouth. Yeah, there we go. Put it in your mouth. <laughs> That's what they said. Okay. Big one. Where were you this morning, Junior? Mm. <laughs> it's Chuseok right now. It's like one of the two biggest holidays in Korea. I know like even like five years ago, nothing would be open, but these days I feel like a lot of things are open. Because there's a lot of foreigners here, you know? Let's try this four minutes today. I'm excited. I'm not feeling this butter knife being <laughs> <laughs> this a steak. Let's see. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, is it tender? It's alright. Four minutes steak, what do you expect, right? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh my god. This is what happens when you live in New York City for over 10 years. All of a sudden, everything is not good enough. It's like, yeah, they don't do it like this in New York City. Yeah, they don't live the like life that. in New York City. Yeah, right? I remember when I first moved to Korea, everybody made fun of me for being the girl who was just like, oh, this is not how they do it in New York City. <laughs> you were that girl. I was really that girl. I was like, hell yeah, I'm just speaking the truth. No, I'm not, I'm not that girl anymore. <laughs> do I say that anymore? Like, this is not how they do it in New York City. I don't, right? I kind of like the steak. It's alright. Oh no, my fingers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, eating the steak is making me happy. <laughs> I feel so, like I need some vegetables in between. Mmm, cleanse your palate. Mm -hmm. I'm like mixing my like sushi and my pizza and my steak. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I'm but they plates are supposed to be in layers. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm like, mm, I don't care. I feel like it's so difficult to talk when you're eating because. It is. My mind goes into shut off mode when I'm eating. It just thinks about 
yums. Mm -hmm. When we're eating, we usually don't talk. <laughs> we don't. Unless the food's bad. Yeah, then we talk about the uh -huh. terrible food. Oh, no. I feel like this is like the soundtrack of Glee or something. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Oh my god, you know where we have to go and we haven't gone to before? Yeah. Karaoke together. Oh yeah, we've never gone karaoke together. We haven't. Have you ever gone alone? Like, not alone, but... Wait, with not without me? Yeah, <laughs> without me. <laughs> yes, Jeannie, I do have a life without you. No. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna try... I'm like eating like five plates at one time. Now I'm gonna try the Thai beef fried rice. Mm. Okay. Yeah. May I try? Yes, please. These are communal plates. <laughs> That's the great thing about buffet. You can always get more, mm -hmm. so I don't feel weird about sharing. Because you know sometimes when you're with somebody, they're just like, can I try some of your stuff? And you really don't want to share. You're like, this is mine. Oh, it's spicy. It is really spicy, huh? It's spicy. Nice. Hit. Yeah, but yeah, when you're like, oh, but I really like this. <laughs> I want it all, but I really hate sharing my food when it's just like single serving. Mm. But you know manners, because I was raised right. <laughs> so I'm just like, yeah, sure. But, you know, like when you get your food and you're supposed to be like, would, would you like to try some? You're supposed to like offer. I don't like that. <laughs> if you want some of my food, ask me. I make it very clear I can turn you down. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> thing about the steak thing at a buffet is that you can always get more, mm -hmm. right? You can always get more. Unless they run out. I feel like most of the people here are like young people who don't have family obligations today. Do you have family in Seoul or other places in Korea? I have family in Yongin. I should go tomorrow. I'm gonna go tomorrow on Thursday. Mm. Mm -hmm. I have family that lives in Seoul. Uh-huh. I'm gonna go tomorrow too. Oh. Are you gonna get Tibet though? <laughs> Which I is like hope. money that you get for bowing to your elders. <laughs> I thought you only get that on um, New Year's, no? You get it during Chuseok as well. I thought that... you get it every time you bow. Really? Oh. You're telling me that technically you could do it at any holiday? Maybe that was just our family. Yeah, generous family. Or they just really like them. <laughs> <laughs> this is the original song by the police. Used mm. by the music selection. <laughs> you know, the song sounds so, so good. That's all you've been doing. You've just been eating the cheese. <laughs> yeah. Why'd you even get broccoli? <laughs> I don't know. I felt bad about just getting a plate full of cheese. <laughs> you know, the song. Mm -hmm. It's just like a cheerful beat. Mm. Wait, I've never really paid attention to the lyrics. Every move you make, every step you take, I'll be watching you. This is like the stalkerish of all stalker songs. Mm. I'll be watching you. But what if he's a cute stalker? He's not a real stalker. <laughs> then yeah, he's not a stalker. I don't know, what are your experiences like on Tinder? Good and bad. Actually, I've never met like face to face or really on like matching. Mm -hmm. Anyone like creepy? Mm -hmm. Maybe I've met people who were. Mm -hmm. They're all nice. They're all nice. Oh. This is. I think it's Rainbow. Ready? <laughs> no, I didn't really do Tinder a lot until I came to Seoul or Korea. Like in New York City, I didn't have to because I lived above a bar, mm -hmm. a sake bar. <laughs> that was like Tinder right there in real life. But I came to Korea, didn't really know anybody, so I was just like, what's the fastest way to meet new people? It's through Tinder. What would you say was your best Tinder date? <laughs> The best Tinder date. They were all normal. Like dinner and drinks. Oh, nothing special? Mm -hmm. 
from them, it turned into re like relationships. Maybe not plural. Is it plural? Yes. And then it ends. <laughs> hmm. How long was your longest Tinder relationship? Um, I'll say a month. What about you? Best Tinder date. My best Tinder date was also my worst. Taco. Taco. It was this guy. I'm gonna call him Taco. And it was about a year ago that we met on Tinder. And I could just tell from the very first conversation we had on Tinder that this guy was a complete and utter asshole. Like, he was so argumentative. Um, he was just like, what are you looking for on Tinder? And I was just like, oh, you know, I'm open to whatever. And he was basically telling me, oh, I think you're lying. I think that like 90% of girls are looking for a relationship and 10% of girls are looking for a hookup, so which one are you? I was just like, uh, I'm just open to whatever. Um, and I just felt like this weird sort of like, oh, I don't know if I want to keep talking to him, but I didn't really have anything much else going on. <laughs> so so sort why of like, not? Why not, right? At the time, I had like a friend with benefit. And I was actually talking to Taco on Tinder, telling him, okay, gotta go now, I'm gonna go see my friend with benefit. And he was just like, <laughs> okay. whoa. Oh, he was like, whoa, not okay. Oh, he was like, okay, but uh -huh. he was just like, all right, I think he was trying to play cool. We end up meeting, and in person, Taco was very attractive, like just physically attractive. Mm -hmm. And he had like a nice boyish manner about him that I thought was very attractive as well. But he's one of those people where Everything's great until he opens his mouth. You know, then it's just, everything he says is so abrasive. Do you open his mouth often? Constantly. He was one of those guys who would just constantly talk about himself. And he would preface it by saying, listen, I know that, you know, you're supposed to ask the other person what they're into and what they're about, but I figure that if you really need to tell me something, you'll just tell me. I was like, okay. But I was just like, all right, but, I kind of get, gave him like an extra buffer because he was physically so good looking. And I think that's that's his downfall. Because he's so good looking, I don't think that girls reprimand him enough. He was an extremely boring conversationalist because it was just talking about himself and he wasn't talking about interesting things about himself. What was he talking about? I don't even remember. That's how boring it was. Usually I have really good memory about <laughs> conversations I have with people, but with him, nope. Oh man. Um, then we went to this bar, and we drank, and here's the thing, he was one of those guys where, at a bar, he needs to talk to everybody else, Why? except me. Um, I don't know, I really feel as though... What? What kind, I, of, what kind of person is that? I've never heard of that kind of person. To be honest, I think he was a pickup artist. Have you heard of a pickup artist? No, I've heard of pickpocketer. <laughs> pickup artist is basically like a level below a pickpocketer mm -hmm. because these are guys who who are basically using manipulation mm -hmm. and they're using negative reinforcement mm -hmm. to make a girl like them so they'll ignore her mm -hmm. they'll do things called negging which is to say mean things to her not, not like blatantly mean things like you're a fat cow but <laughs> like hmm i think you'd look so much thinner in a different outfit but you look great stuff like that so the entire time we were at this bar, my eyes kept darting to the exit, like, I could just leave, I could just leave. And then I was just like, kind of drunk, so I was just like, ah, I'll just finish my drink, I'm getting free drinks. And I went on my phone, <clears throat> and I didn't know this at the time, but looking back, I realized what I did was I used a pickup artist move on him, <laughs> which is like, uh, supposedly if a guy, if, okay, the pickup artist, if the girl doesn't give him enough attention or she won't sleep with him, what he's supposed to do is instead of getting mad at her, he's supposed to pick up his phone and just like go through it. Like he's ignoring her, but he's just like, okay, that's fine. And just like, doop, doop, doop. And it's supposed to drive the girl crazy. Like then it's supposed to be like, okay, okay, I want your attention again. I'll do whatever. So I didn't realize this, but I was just like, okay, this is very boring. So I'm just looking at my phone. And then he freaked out. He was just like, oh, she finds me boring. So those of you, you can use that move. After that, he was very nice to me. Oh yeah. 
And remember how I told you that like Taco, he's kind of girly. Like his energy was very like stalkery female. <laughs> stalkery. Female. Stalkery. Why does stalkery have to be female? Well, there's a difference between stalkery male and female. I think stalkery male is a little bit more like call the police. I'm gonna die soon. <laughs> stalkery yeah. female is a little bit more like. She's gonna take my bunny and boil it. <laughs> I may not be in take physical danger, but everyone around me, me. <laughs> my plants and pets, <laughs> save them. Jesus. After that, uh, we went to have a little <clears throat> fun. So it was a really great date in that it was like five hours of just amazingness. And I was just like, you know what? He's boring, a douche. Mm -hmm. Um, and just a pickup artist for sure, but in bed he's great. So, so you gotta keep him around. I know. So at that point, I was just like, I was very conflicted. I think we might have to do like round two. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Round two. Mm -hmm. We don't have any space on this table for our food. I'll put this here. Okay, so what did we get for round two? This is some kind. This is some kind of. I like this bread. This is sweetened potatoes. This is raw beef. Some chicken and bamboo. Bamboo rice. Pasta. Pasta. <laughs> Pizza. And s'more sushi. And you mentioned like why I would want to get this jellyfish thingy. Yeah. I really like it. I like the texture. Let's we'll see. This jellyfish. <laughs> Let's see. The pasta. Why am I using chopsticks for? Oh my god. I'm getting You're confused. So Asian. I'm getting so confused. So you got carbonara. Mm-hmm. I have bongole. 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 What is it? It's like seafood, oil, pasta. Mm -hmm. How is it? Good. Good. All right. I feel like this is not the original either. Song. Is it? Maybe it is. No, seriously. I, I wouldn't want to be on the cover of Forbes magazine. Mm. We eat that pasta really fast. <clears throat> kind of like, like this much. Yeah, that's true. It's only like this much. Mm -hmm. Wait, but you got another pasta too, right? Yeah, I didn't know you ordered one. <laughs> we had three pastas. What would you say is your worst Tinder date? My worst Tinder date? Oh, when he didn't show up. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> yeah, that told me... I mean, I learned my lesson too. I would never do that to someone else. Nah. Mm. Raw beef. It's sweet. Like fried crab thingy. Maybe something happened to him. Maybe. Maybe he died. Just kidding. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, my best Tinder. Now I remember. Mm -hmm. So it was with that, um, the guy who was in that punk band. Hmm? Did I tell you about this guy? Mm -mm. So, super nice guy. Mm -hmm. um, they totally ruined this song. I love the song too. It's by the Yeah Yeah Yeahs. It's called Off with His Head. Anyways, um, he was in a punk band, mm -hmm. and this is like in Korea. Super nice guy, super interesting. Was he Korean? No, he was from California. California, uh, you know, like a white guy? Yeah, a white guy. It was a white dude. 
wait, this is like a mix between Thriller and Yeah Yeah Yeah's Office of Head. Okay, this is like a remix, okay. We met up like two or three times, and he was not sleazy at all, he was super cute, he had a super cool vibe. I guess the only issue was there was no compatibility in bed. And that's like the worst part of all. You know, everything else was so just spot on, but just... But can uh, that part, can't you learn? We tried like twice. Yeah. Two different times. Three different times. I think it's the last time that we hung out. I have this issue where it's like I don't like to sleep next to a like a person, right? Like yeah. I like to sleep in my own bed yeah. by myself. Unless it's like a huge king size bed, I hate uh -huh. sharing the same bed with somebody. And it's nothing personal, it's just the way that I am. Well, this guy was staying over at my place and maybe I didn't communicate it. I didn't communicate it, period. Instead, yeah. I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna sleep on the mattress on the floor. I just said it like that. Oh, he must have been hurt. Yeah, that was really rude of me to do. I wasn't thinking it, so I was just like, ah, I just, yeah, it's my space, I need to preserve it. So that was really bad. Um, but I, maybe I should have, even if I communicated it, it still would have felt weird, I think. Because yeah. I think that just shows, without using words, that it's just not a good chemical match. Because I've definitely been with guys where I could stay with them in the same bed and sleep and not feel claustrophobic. Mm -hmm. But with him I felt a little bit claustrophobic, so... Yeah, so uh, it just wasn't going to be a match. Mm -hmm. And we tried. Okay. The pasta's spicy. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. It is spicy. If I feel like, well, why not? That's when I know I'm making the wrong decisions. Either I should say, no, I don't want to, or yes, I absolutely want to. If I'm thinking to myself, yeah. why not? That should be a no. That should be the ultimate of all no's. So I was just like, yeah, why not? And is this Celine? I think, nice. yeah, it's Power of Love by Celine Dion. But it's a song by somebody else who's not singing. And then you, you were like, oh, my friend Jeannie and I were doing a mukbang. He's like, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah, you should watch it. So you might be watching it. <laughs> Wait a second, I never went on Tinder dates. So right. Jeannie, you got dessert. Yes. What you get? First, this is ice cream with two biscuits. Yum. From brulee. Two of them. A macaron. Macaroon? Macaron? Oh, macaroons. Macaroon. Okay. Tiramisu. Carrot cake. Brownie and some raspberry cake. Oh, and I forgot. This lonely little fella. Oreo cheesecake. Well, this is my favorite. Creme brulee? Yes, I can eat like 10 of them. Use this. Yay. Let's see if it's... Oh, it's not... Not super hard? No, that's not super hard. Mm. Alright, let's taste it. <laughs> Edible. I think I'm going into food coma right now. Mm -hmm. mm. So, kiwi juice. Mm. And also shike. I love shike. I can drink shike like all the time. And uh, shike is sort of like sweet rice water, and you actually have little bits of sweet rice at the bottom.
finish up our food. I ate so much, I'm going through extreme food coma right now. Yeah. And this is melon macaron, by the way. Interesting. Tastes like the melon nut bars. Mm, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, you guys have any suggestions on where we should eat next? Any recommendations? Let us know. Alright, bye guys!